was he able to take away Gilman's offense on his feet? Well, the thing with Gilman in that World Finals match is the inability to get to his tie, and Gilman was forced to shoot from the open position. And what Takahashi did was he stayed in the open position and just negated the shots for Thomas Gilman, and that's why he was successful in winning that World Championship. Two three-minute periods in freestyle. Gilman and Takahashi, and Gilman with that shot to the face, so they'll stop it, warn him. Gilman, a really aggressive wrestler. The Japan corner, and they know these are must-haves if they're to knock off and upset the U.S. Takahashi, ranked number five, 24 years old, the leader of this Japanese squad. Heavy collar tie there applied by Gilman. Takahashi able to rip his neck free. Referee jumping in, wanting Takahashi to a little bit more movement. Next time he warns him, he'll go on that shot clock. And you mentioned Takahashi showed up in Paris and unexpectedly won that world title. And I asked him, what's the difference this year? And he said, last year I didn't have a target on my back, and this year I do. And it's OK to win one, but it doesn't matter if you can't follow that up when the target's on your back. You have to perform under pressure. And that's what he's looking to do here in Iowa City. Shot clock on the board. Takahashi, chance for Gilman of the United States to grab an early point. If nobody scores here on a takedown. Yes, 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 yes. Stay in there. Good, stay in off the hand. My video, my video, my video. Wrestlers circling in the center. You see those heavy hands from Gilman. Shot clock down to three, down to two, and it will be Gilman for the USA with the early point. I'm curious to see how this Japan team reacts late in periods, and especially in the first period. There, We mentioned it in round number one, 13 hour time difference from Tokyo, where they are flying in from. So you have to imagine right now, it's really late at night for them. And this duel being at night, it's going to become a factor in late in the period. Now they want action from Gilman with 42 seconds to go okay, in this okay, first period. Takahashi trailing 1-0. Gilman, the silver medalist in Paris, Grand Prix of Spain champion, the U.S. World Team Trial champ. Two-time junior world team member, 23 years old. Blue, no finger, attention. Okay. Back to the center we go with 13 seconds remaining in this first period. Gil Gilman doing a great job of pointing that elbow. Instead of pointing it out, he's keeping it towards his right hip, which is negating that underhook coming from the left side of Takahashi. A one nothing lead for Thomas Gilman of the U.S. as the two wrestlers go into their respective corners and adjustments. Thomas Gilman talked about it. He talked about the pain of, of finishing so close last year in Paris and how that has been a driving force throughout the course of the season leading into this World Cup and a chance at a rematch with the young man from Japan who denied him his world glory. Takahashi was Japan's gold medal winner. That was the first freestyle gold in 36 years for the country. So a veteran, a three-time world team member who brought some prestige to Japan with that championship. Gilman in on the leg. Gilman trying to get the two. Wizard applied by Takahashi. Boy, this is where the Japanese wrestler is so good here. And it's important near the out-of-bounds line for Gilman to understand where he's at. Continue to sh circle towards his left. He does not want, want to allow Takahashi to go out here because they are on the mat, and he will not be awarded the push-out point. No points awarded. Natural 
Double action taking them out of bounds. So a 1-0 lead remains for Gilman. Even though Gilman was shut out in that final, he had a couple of deep shots that Takahashi was able to fend off. And there was a clear cut example of another one here today in this World Cup final. Takahashi driving forward, trying to get that push out. Gilman bearing down on those toes, trying to reestablish some traction. And you see Gilman go to his knees, and once again, that's important here because the push out point will not be awarded because he allows Takahashi to get into that front headlock position. Move your feet, son. Move your feet. And at 43 to go, second period. Shot clock point has been it. Low assault by Gilman. He's in around the ankle. Takahashi trying to kick free. Now turn and face, and Takahashi gets the two. Thomas Gilman there, you have to come up to your feet. Gilman stayed below the waist, and that allowed Takahashi to kick out and pick up the two for the takedown. One Takahashi with the lead, 70 seconds to go in this second period. Gilman now searching hard, finds a way. Takahashi spins around and he gets two more. Boy, he is crafty. Quick on that counter offense, and it's Gilman, is, he's pausing for one second, and that's the difference between Takahashi and Gilman, is that one second of quickness that he has over Gilman. There are a lot of wrestlers on those last two shots that Gilman ends up with two. Not the case with Yuki Takahashi. Two counters by Japan and they lead it four to one. Down to 35 seconds to go and a match has been as good as advertised coming in. Gilman needs a big move here. In the last two matches, even dating back to the World Finals, Takahashi has not taken a shot. All of his takedowns, the four takedowns that he has gotten the past two matches have all come from Thomas Gilman's offense. So counter offense is the key for Takahashi to win against Thomas Gilman. Gilman running out of time, and for the second straight time, it will be Japan and Yuki Takahashi getting the job done in Iowa City, and Japan goes up 1-0. Great match. Defensive showing for Yuki Takahashi.